So Mega Heracross is making its Pokemon Go debut, which is great because it's going to be an amazing bug and fighting type attacker. So let's go ahead and jump into all the counters, moves, best move set, everything you need to know about Mega Heracross. First off, he is going to be a bug fighting type, just like his normal form. And his attack is going to be a 334, defense of a 223, and a stamina of a 190. He does have a max out CP, though, of 5,443. That's actually going to be pretty high. And with those typings, it's going to be benefiting him greatly. He will have a unique set of moves from the fighting and bug category. And his raid 100% CPs is going to be a 1772 as well as weather boosted in the cloudy and rainy weather of 2,215. Those are gonna be pretty good. Those, that's what you're gonna be looking for. It will be a normal Heracross that you're looking for with those numbers, and he can be shiny. So he goes from a blue to a pink, and if you wanna know a gender difference on him, his horn will be a heart shape for the female and pointy for the male. That is kind of interesting if you wanna go for each gender. But let's go ahead and start examining his weaknesses. He will be weak to flying, fairy, fire, and psychic types. And he will resist fighting, dark, ground, and bug, as well as grass. So watch out for that. We are gonna mainly be leaning into that flying typing as our counters because they are gonna be the easiest and do the most damage. But as for moves, the fast moves, he will have counter and struggle bug. Counter is gonna be a great fighting move and struggle bug, a great bug move. He does get stab on both of those and counter is a very quick attack, being able to allow you to charge up a lot faster if you want the fighting type moves. And his charge moves are gonna be Mega Horn, Earthquake, Close Combat, and Rock Blast. Rock Blast is a great coverage move so if you are bringing the flying types, watch out for that. You will be weak to it, but it is only one move you have to watch out for. And Mega Horn and Close Combat being amazing stab moves is nothing to really look away from because it can do massive amounts of damage in his Mega Form. But he is going to be in the top 10 for both categories of bug and fighting with movesets like Counter as his fast attack, Mega Horn as a charge attack, and then Close Combat as his second charge attack that's going to be his highest damaging move set if you are going to go into pvp though he is going to be good in the master league at a 131 it's going to be a normal heracross but he will have that counter close combat and rock blast as good coverage since you are weak to flying you can go ahead and take advantage of that to counter one of your weaknesses as well with the 15 15 15 for that cp you will be looking for He's a very good Pokemon overall, being able to rank very high in the bug and fighting type category. He's going to be a great mega, allowing you to boost your bug and fighting type candies. So don't sleep on him. He's going to be doing massive amounts of damage. Now, as for some counters, we are going to be looking at some shadows and some budget counters. First off, we do have Shadow Moltres with Wing Attack, Sky Attack. You could go ahead and run a fire type move but the ideal moveset you would be looking for is the wing attack, sky attack, since it is double flying. We do have Haunch Crow, Peck, sky attack, that can also be in the shadow. The shadow will rank a little higher, but normal Haunch Crow will work just as well. Yavolto is Gust Oblivion Wing, being a great legendary with flying type moves is amazing. We do have Enamorous, which is a newer Pokemon, but it is more on the rare side since it was hard to get, but if you have one, you can use it with Fairy Wind and Fly. And then we do have Tornadus with Air Slash, Hurricane, as well as Two Cannon being a Peck Drill Peck. That's a great budget flying type attacker. So don't sleep on any of those. You can either use them in their shadow form or non-shadow. They were great. Essentially anything with flying type moves is what you're going to be looking for. But then some top megas you could be looking at is Mega Rayquaza with Air Slash Dragon Ascent. That's going to be a great Pokemon to take in because it's going to do massive damage in the flying category and boosting all flying type moves. We do have Mega Charizard Y with Air Slash Blast Burn. That's a good flying and fire type as well as boosting those fire and flying type moves. Watch out for that one. That one's going to be a very good Mega to take in to help you do more damage. And then we do have things like Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill does have Bug Bite and Aerial Ace. It's gonna be helping you boost flying type moves as well as giving you those better candy gains from taking Heracross down since it is a bug type. It's gonna be hitting in both categories. If you don't have a Mega Beedrill, 
go ahead easily use something else but i highly recommend using a mega beedrill if you are trying to farm this get a shiny get some candies everything like that highly recommend it since it does take care of both categories now for the weather boost we will have the clear and sunny day boosting all fire type moves so doing more damage like the mega charizard y we do have rainy weather which will be boosting all bug types so all bug type moves that are coming off of heracross and you go ahead and get your weather boosted cp which is always a good thing then we do have windy weather which is going to be boosting all flying type moves so you can do the maximum damage you can if you bring in a flying mega this is going to be skyrocketing your damage and it's going to be ideal to take him down solo then we do have partly cloudy weather which will be boosting all rock type moves so if you are in the partly cloudy watch out for that rock blast since it can do so much damage and then lastly we do have cloudy weather which is going to be boosting all fighting type and the cp for heracross allowing you to get the weather boosted again as well as boosting his fighting type moves which you're not really gonna have to worry about unless you are bringing something that is off of meta or just simply being something else which isn't a bad thing but we do have some good flying types you can use that isn't gonna have to worry about that fighting type. But there it is, Heracross counter guide from moves, counters, best move set, CPs, everything you need to know. If there's anything you think I missed, let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, smash the like button and I'll catch you guys in the next raid guide.